Indiana's for Accelerating Indiana's Progress, brought to you by Indiana's House Republican Caucus. I'm your host, Stephanie Sample, and today I'm with State Representative Mark Mesmer from District 63. Thanks for being here today, sir. Thank you for the invitation. Glad to be here. So, Representative Mesmer, why don't you tell us what made you want to become a state representative? Okay. Well, I've been uh, a person who's followed political issues closely, um, really my whole life. Um, from as long as I can remember, probably from a big influence from my dad. He was always been always been a very politically involved, active person. Uh, never sought public office prior to this uh, running for state representative. Um, but I guess I was tired of seeing career politicians uh, that were more interested in getting reelected than solving problems for the people of the district. And uh, probably got frustrated enough to the point where, uh, rather than complain about it do something about it and uh, decided to run. Well, we're glad you're here. Well, good to be here. This is your first week. Yep. What are your initial impressions of the General um, Assembly? In general, I mean, everybody, everybody that I've met, either side of the aisle, has been uh, very nice people, a very uh, thoughtful people. I've been, I mean, it's been a very welcoming place so far. Um, I'm excited to be here. Uh, we haven't gotten down to a lot of the nitty-gritty yet of, of uh, legislative action, but uh, so far it's been, it's been very enjoyable, and I've got to meet a lot of new people either you know, in the legislature, uh, House staff, um, people from various lobbying groups that you know, want to get to know you to, to find out your areas of interest and expertise, and uh, it's been, uh, been very enjoyable the first week. Why don't you go into your background a little bit? Okay. Well, I'm a... Uh, married father of four who's been uh, very active in raising my family uh, whatever the kids have been involved in growing up I've been right there with them just felt like that was uh, the right thing to do for me and and, and uh, been very involved in you know from coaching to Cub Scouts to to uh, sports whatever whatever activities the kids were doing uh, that was that was what I got involved with them uh, I'm a small business owner uh, own a plumbing heating business in Jasper with my two brothers. It's a family business that dad started about 40 years ago. And uh, we've got a, about 50 employees. So as a small business owner, I think I bring a lot of concerns and, and background to the table that'll, you know, that'll uh, hopefully be put to good use on the Small Business and Economic Development Committee. I'm a Purdue graduate and a licensed professional engineer. So I think I'll bring a, a uh, logical, um, technical perspective to a lot of issues that, that uh, will get discussed when it deals with environmental regulations and things like that. Uh, rather than getting caught up in the emotion of issues sometime, it's better to be able to dive into them and dissect them and, and look at them analytically and logically. So I think that'll be an asset I'll bring uh, from, from that background as well. So the House Republican Caucus recently announced its agenda for the 2009 session. Why don't you go into your personal agenda? What are your goals and aims? Okay. Um, the goals that I bring, I guess, are the goals that, you know, the issues that I talked about and, and, and a lot of those um, formulated over the, over the year of running for office. Uh, property tax reform, uh, real and permanent property tax reform that focuses on the taxpayer and, and their concerns more so than, than uh, what the, you know, government income is from those property taxes. Making sure we get real permanent property tax reform done. Um, it, it's a high concern, has been on everybody's list uh, the whole time I've been running, this, you know, going through this process. Um, another area of concern is, is education reform. We've got an education system that uh, seems to have lost its focus and uh, having kids come through high school. Uh, my oldest son's a junior in college. I've got a daughter that's a senior. And just seeing the issues um, as they've grown up, I mean, it's different than when I was in school, and, and wanting to bring some solutions to help uh, prepare kids for the future better, uh, prepare them for life better, um, is high on my list. Um, big concern in, in my part of the state, and probably everywhere now, um, has been jobs loss. Uh, we've seen it uh, in our industry, more so the last few years, from global competition but uh, across the state, I know that's a problem everywhere, and making sure we're keeping Indiana um, competitive on, on tax base and on regulatory uh, issues to make Indiana the most 
inter inviting place for businesses to want to come and, and locate here. Um, to, if we're going to have jobs growth, it's got to come from new companies um, you know, wanting to locate here. So we've got to make Indiana a good place to do business. And um, then the last issue that, that I heard a lot of uh, interest in was, was immigration reform. Uh, last session, there were some bills debated. No uh, final um, resolution came on the, on the issue of uh, dealing with illegal immigrants, but it's an issue that probably if property taxes were number one concern brought up, that was uh, many times the number two concern that, that uh, people in, in my district are highly concerned about and want to bring some solutions to that that help deal with the problem. And, and, and the solution needs to be driven more from um, requiring employers to, you know, to verify people's legal status before they hire them. Uh, and that's been in the news a lot statewide, so I think the attention is, is, is there, the focus is there, that uh, we need to get some solutions done on that. There's also been a lot of talk, you know, this is a budget session, so mm -hmm. we have to pass a budget. Mm -hmm. What are your feelings about dipping into the rainy day fund? There's been a lot of media attention in that direction. I, I, I agree with the governor on, on the stance that we've got to, we, we can't dive into the rainy day fund as part of our budget plan now because we don't, we can, we can project where we think the, the revenue stream is going to be the next year, but if we fall short, our only resource is the rainy day fund. And rather than, no, that rather than intentionally tap into that now, and, and reduce the, the, the amount of money in the rainy day fund, not knowing where the next year, year and a half is going to be while we're in this next two year biennium. Uh, we don't want to plan to, to wipe it out and then, and then if revenues fall even shorter yet, not knowing how long the recession is going to be, uh, if, if we plan to, uh, to reduce it now, if things get worse, we're going to be in really tough shape. So proactively, uh, aggressively tackling, you know, the budgets, you know, staying within what we see to be the, the um, projected revenue and, in, you know, income, staying within that with, for, our, for our current budget, that makes the most sense. You talked earlier about your, your constituents in, mm -hmm. in District 63. How are they getting in touch with you? Um, I made my home phone number uh, readily available to to, to folks throughout the campaign, and I've got a lot of phone calls from concerned constituents, and and a lot of them have questions on on uh, the uh, education consolidation uh, proposals that are out there. You know, the local government consolidation, property tax concerns. The concerns that most people call to follow, you know, to to contact me on are are very similar. So I mean, I think everybody's got the you know the same concerns. Uh, you know, jobs. Uh, email through my uh, House District 63, you know, email link. Uh, I've gotten several contacts through that, but primarily, you know, home phone and, uh, and email through the uh, indiana.gov, you know, slash 863 uh, email has been uh, worked well for me too, so. We will run all of your contact information Great. at the end of this segment. All the phone numbers, good. Okay. Uh, your website, people can mm -hmm. fill out your legislative survey. Yeah, we've had did. a great, great response from that already. Uh, probably a day or two after those went out, I had people uh, emailing me saying, "Hey, Mark, I got your uh, legislative questionnaire and 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 uh, returned the form already." So I, my legislative assistant said the re response has been been great on that, and I really look forward to hearing what people have to say. You know, a lot of those issues are, are issues that, that I have a, you know, a, an idea in mind what I want to accomplish, but I want to always want to get feedback from my constituents to make sure if there's, if there's issues that are high on their concern list that I pay attention and, and follow up on those. So glad you came to talk to us today. Would you sit down with us again in the Absolutely. future? Absolutely. Look forward to it. Anytime.